All right, Joe. Let's get started on this southern uh, tomato gravy. Uh, this, this is something we do down in the south. Some people's heard of it down here. Some people haven't. I grew up on it. Uh, my kids don't like it, except one. One likes it. But it's, uh, I guess it's an acquired taste. But anyway, check this video out. I'll show you how to do it. All right. I got a pack of bacon. I'm, I'm, I'm cooking the bacon down. I'm going to use the grease in it. And then you can take the bacon out and let it sit. Uh, you can just eat it for a snack or whatever, or you can crunch it up and put it back in the, the uh, tomato gravy. That's probably what I would do, but I've never done it before. We're going to try it out. Uh, but anyway, I'm cooking this whole pack. I'm not going to need the grease from the whole pack, but I'm going to cook the whole pack because I'm, I'm kind of I'm out of my bacon grease. So I'm going to take the rest of it and store it in my jar. So, But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, bacon cooked up, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Got the bacon cooked. I used about half of this grease. I didn't. Uh, I took the other half, put it in my jar. But about half of that grease of that bacon, the pack one pack of bacon made, I used half of it. So now I'm gonna take about a half a cup of flour. We're gonna make a roux. You do just like you would a gravy, a brown gravy. <laughs> you do just like that. You make your roux. The bacon grease is going to give a lot of flavor. We use bacon on with just about everything down here. So anyway, you're going to do a roux, and you don't want to get a dark, dark like you would if you're making a regular gravy for your rice or mashed potatoes. But you, you want to get a, you know, a little, I would say uh, maybe like a almost like a chocolate color. Like a light chocolate. All right, you want to keep on whisking it so it doesn't burn. I like to I like to season my gravy when I'm making uh, gravy for like rice or something. But I'm not gonna season this. The bacon grease has a lot of salt in it. So I'm going to use just a little bit of regular salt when I start adding the um, tomatoes and stuff to it. Some uh, black pepper and a little bit of my uh, country ass Cajun seasoning. And then once the uh, gravy starts cooking real good, I'm going to cut cut that uh, bacon up in little just like little pieces and put it in there. And we're going to serve this over uh, homemade buttermilk biscuits. If you want to see how I make my buttermilk biscuits, go watch, uh, go check my other video out. I have the fire on about a medium. You don't want it too hot. But you want it hot enough to cook it. But you, just, you don't want it too hot to where to burn. I'm swap to my brown wooden spoon now. Now, the roux's not going to take long. To, when you're doing a tomato gravy, it doesn't take long, you know, to cook down. You see a little smoke? It's not coming from the roux. It's coming from where I poured that uh, bacon grease in that jar, and I got a little bit on the side. Because you know if your roux starts smoking, just throw it away. But right now, I don't even have the heat on it high enough to really even burn anything. Just enough to cook it. I bumped it up just a little bit. See, some people would take chopped onions, put chopped onions in it. I don't do it. I like onion gravy and, you know, other gravy, brown gravy with onions in it. I just don't care for it in my tomato gravy. I'm going to tag my child in it, Tyler. He's the one that likes tomato gravy. My other ones don't, but I'm still going to tag them in it, too. But y'all get a chance, go, uh, go comment on my video. 
and tell my other kids what they're missing out. If you like tomato gravy. If you don't like tomato gravy, still go comment on it and tell Tyler what, uh, you know, ask Tyler why do you like tomato gravy. He'll tell you. All right, y'all. I think my mic went dead right here. So I'm going to do a voiceover, but the roux's done. Now I'm going to add in one can of the fire roasted diced tomatoes. I'm just going to mix it all up real good. I'm going to keep mixing. I'm, right there, I turned the, turned the fire down a little bit, but I'm going to keep mixing it so it doesn't burn. I added a, a box of uh, chicken stock, or chicken broth, I'm sorry, chicken broth. I'm going to mix it up real good. I don't even know what I'm saying in this uh, part right here. But, yeah, my mic went dead on it. All right, so now I'm adding a can of tomato paste. Then I added some more chicken stock, just kind of top it off. You want to add that old country ass Cajun season or any season, Cajun season you like. Add uh, salt and pepper to it, and there it is. I'm Joni, and give me a follow.